YouTubers and thanks for joining me back here at Lily's Hair Kitchen. Today I'm just going to do a tutorial on um, how I apply the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream to my hair. This was the first Cantu product I went to besides the leave-in conditioning repair cream. Outside of that though, this was the first Cantu product I actually went to that made my hair just absolutely delicious. Um, gave it moisture, gave it shine, gave it manageability. And also it didn't make my hair dry. It gave you definition, gave you curl definition, but it did not... And in curl control is what I call it, curl control. To where your curls really looked on point and they looked perfect without drying your hair out. Because usually things that give you curl definition also have gel in it or some some sort of whole product that usually dries your hair out. Well, for some reason the Cantu curling, you know, coconut curling cream doesn't. Um, I will say after a couple hours though, it does wear off a little bit, um, but your hair doesn't get frizzy or anything like that. So that's something that you don't have to worry about. Also too, I know some girls out there that have my hair type 3B3C or girls that have more coarse hair to from 4A to 4C that still use a Cantu cur Coconut Curling Cream and it works just fine for them and they have more coarse hair. Also, some of the ones that do use it happen to also cocktail it. If you guys don't know what the word cocktail means, it means to mix it with something else. So they'll use a Coconut Curling Cream Cantu and they'll also mix it with maybe Eco Styler Gel, you know, or something like, make kind of like their own personal um, natural hair like product, you know what I mean? So, um, all right, so I'm just gonna get right to it. Okay, so now I'm just putting the towel around me so I don't um, spray water all over me. And I'm just gonna spritz a little bit of water onto my hair, the front, the back. You wanna get every spot as thoroughly as possible. And you don't wanna make your hair too saturated, but you wanna make it um, nice and damp, especially the roots to make it easier for you to apply the product. And now you're gonna wanna use your fingers to rub the water in your hair, in your roots. Make sure you get your roots really, really good. And it smells so good. <laughs> I love this stuff. And yep, you're just gonna keep rubbing the water into your hair. And here I go spraying more water because my hair didn't feel it was damp enough or it didn't feel that there was enough moisture or water to my roots and that's the key is to always make sure your roots are nice and damp so that they can be soft and supple for you to apply the product. And now I'm just gonna take my towel and get some up get up some of the excess water and you're just gonna rub using your fingertips. You don't wanna use your whole palm. Just a little bit of your fingertips to get a little bit of the excess water up. And now I'm just finger shingling my curls. And finger shingling is just pretty much moving your fingers back and forth in your hair so that you can loosen up your curls and they can do their own thing. Now I'm just gonna take some of the Cant2 Coconut Curling Cream, about that much. Rub it between your hands and we're going to start applying it. You want to try and get the front parts of your hair first around your edges and then work your way to the middle part of your hair. And now I'm just going to grab some more product, about that much. And it as you can see, I put some on my fingertips and I'm rubbing it in the middle part of my head. And that's because that's the hardest spot to reach for me personally. So that's why I always add a little bit of extra product on my fingertips because your fingertips are easy. It's easier to use your fingertips to get to your roots. But you always want to work from your edges and then go to the middle part of your head. Okay, and now I'm just taking some more product. I know it seems like a lot of product. And as you can see, I'm just putting it on the fingertips. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's so much easier to have you apply the product that way to hard to reach places. And for me, my hard, hardest to reach place is like the back top part. So that's the part that's like always ends up being brown or dry looking. So you wanna make sure you get just product right on the fingertips and rake it through and it makes it easier to get to the roots as well to do it that way as well. Now what I'm doing is I'm just separating some of the curls 
and again I'm doing some finger shingling that's like my favorite thing to do it really helps separate the curls and loosen them up so that they can do their own personal curl thing instead of you taming it and weighing it down and I just took a little bit of extra product when I walked away there and I'm deciding to put it on my um, sideburns I have like curly sideburns so if you guys think you want to do that too I mean it's a super cute little accent to the sides of your hair And now I'm just finger coiling my sideburns. I usually don't, but I'm working on three day old hair, so I it's kind of worn down a little bit, so I wanted to make sure that the curls came out really good. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, when you finger coil, so you can't get too frustrated. And now I'm just using my fingernails to kind of like lift up the roots a little bit. So I'm kind of like tugging at my hair just a little bit. But I don't want to disturb the curls too much once again. So and this is me kind of forming my baby hairs. They're there, they're just, I don't even know. But I'm just trying to form them. So you just take like your natural sebum or oils in other words, and um, like from your hair, and you just kind of like form baby hairs. Just frame your face a little bit more. And this is pretty much the finished look, you guys. I love it so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hasta el fin, no te quiero ver.